Hey everybody, Ross W. Oker, Go Hills TV, powered by JBS, bringing more to the table. Time for a post-match interview with Coach Lindsey Michelle and uh, Coach, a, a little less going on in the post-game tonight. Uh, but this guy that, wanted that, his turn. Somebody so. needed the camera time, right? <laughs> yes. He squeezed all the way in here for it, too. But. Well, anyway. <laughs> I, I, we're always glad to see him out at the Hellier Center. I know last year there was some time when he was a little under the weather watching mm -hmm. on Go Hills TV. So he's one of our biggest fans uh, for Indian Hills sports. So we like to see this little guy out here. So And he likes Dr. Pepper, the official soft drink of Indian <laughs> Hills. Official soft drink of Indian Hills. <laughs> well, Coach, uh, another good night for your team. Uh, you win uh, three game or three uh, sets to none. Come out and took care of business mm -hmm. uh, for the most part. So just quick thoughts on what you liked about what you saw tonight. You don't want to talk about the S word first and just get it out of the way? No, we'll get there, though. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to let you off the hook. We, we're certainly going to keep talking about that. But. Um, I mean, I think everybody took advantage of the opportunities that they were given tonight. Um, for Yeah. We got I, Victoria had been struggling with uh, just being in a transition every time, and she didn't tip the ball. She wasn't out of system. She got up there and swung every time that she had the opportunity to do so. Josie got up there and just took over tonight. She, how many did she put together there at the end of the second set? I don't. Yeah, I don't ten, mean, nine, yeah, ten. I mean, so she and she had double digit uh, kills she, tonight. She was in my power. mind would be your you know yes. the player of the of the match for yes. sure. So. And played great in the back row. Mm -hmm. um, but then yeah, Lisa got up there. You know she sometimes falls to the pressure a little bit about putting that first serve in, and she's a server. That's what she's made to do, and she did a great job. She got up there and and put a few in for us, so she did a great job there. Um, Emmy got up there and dished out some. We got, we got, we had to get rope back in there at the end um, with a little bit of miscommunication and then, you know, being able to get these girls out there, but we also haven't had a lot of extra practice time scrimmaging together. So there was a little bit of lack of communication and figuring things out there towards the end, but um, we, we got that put together in the finish, so. Well, you got some girls from court time tonight mm -hmm. as well, and let's talk about then on that third set as they were creeping in on us. I wondered if at some point you you were going to take a timeout. Would you? Were we getting close? What What were your thoughts on it? Got to twenty four twenty two there. I thought about the timeout, but I'm like, you know what? No, they they work hard. They this is it. They're gonna get it. I I don't know. I had a feeling that that was that next one, but yeah, they wouldn't have got any more without a timeout. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I. You know, I've got confidence in all of them to do. And then we did have a small conversation on the side about a couple things quickly in between that I, I thought would work kinks out between um, Kylie and Isabella. So that's where we kind of got clustered in there a couple times. So it was good. Finish. Well, Carl Sandberg, obviously, with uh, the coach in his 19th season, mm -hmm. uh, you know, they're, they're well coached. They don't, they don't make a lot of unforced mistakes. But at the end of the day, when you look at the talent on paper, you know, obviously – all around were more talented so when you come into a match like this where you know that you know you have to beat yourself essentially uh for this what what is the message in, in before the match on a when you're playing a team that you know that athletically you're just better than just regardless to play at our pace play at our level don't let the balls rolling off the net or rolling off of the hands um you know or those play shots because because they can't get around uh the block kind of thing affect the way we execute and the way that we push our tempo. So if anything, try and, and push it a little bit faster on these. But it is hard. It's hard to catch that chemistry in the in the pace um, sometimes when when that is happening. But, you know, that that's it. Focus on our controllables and taking care of our pace and then obviously the S word. Well, let's just get to talking about that. Uh, I think uh, tonight, again, more errors than aces on the serving side of things. You know how many? Uh, I don't have the exact numbers on that. Do you have them? Yeah. Well, you want to share those with us here in the post game? Not coach? real bad. <laughs> uh, fifteen missed serves. Yeah, fifteen, fifteen, and, and uh, was it four or seven? Yeah, I think it was yeah. four. It I was it pretty. Was, way wasn't off. a whole lot of aces yeah. tonight. So, um, it, you know, that sort of thing I know is like free throws in basketball, turnovers in in football. There comes a point, and you mentioned where you just you, you don't want to continue to talk about it. Uh, you just want to move on, but you obviously have to continue to work about mm -hmm. on it. And uh, what are you seeing there? Is it becoming a mental thing? Uh, obviously, these girls are well capable. Of, yeah, of serving no, them all over. it's a mental thing. La la, she came off and just, what am I doing? I have no. Idea. It's the thought process. What are you telling yourself when you get up there? And um, you know, I would say just the way most of them are missing is they're back and they're gearing up to be extra aggressive. So that's when the ball is up here and it goes up 
instead of keeping that ball out in front because they're really getting torqued back here. So they got to just keep that ball and that contact up in front. So now it's going to go down and stay in bounds. Um, little, is that what physics? I don't know. I'll ask the questions around okay. here. Okay, okay. <laughs> so just really, you can see that the aggre they want to be aggressive, um, and that's that's the direction that they're headed, but they're just kind of getting under it and behind it a little too much, and that's what's taking us out. I mean, mostly out of bounds. I think Larissa missed one short. Um, you know, you'd rather miss long. Right, but not a whole lot into the net. Mostly, right. Most of them is long. So we're on the right side of the things, but just let's get on top of that and set that on the ground. Right now, that's really, from what I see, you know, the, the only real issue. There's always things you can tighten mm -hmm. up. Uh, your thoughts on how Lala played tonight? Uh, she had some nice uh, visions, uh, dumping yeah. the ball over on him. Yeah, I mean, that's Lala, and that's her game. And I think, I th honestly, she is selfless. She would rather dish that out to the players, but she, I think she's finally getting that solid sense of, this is my time, and this is this is where I got to go to kind of set a little bit of the pace too. So, um, yeah, she's pretty good at deciding when and and where to put the ball. So her and Sarah work pretty good at hey Sarah, where is the open spot? Um, so yeah, it's a nice show. Um, I, I've given her. She probably I'm sure has never heard of this, uh, and it's probably even before your time. But uh, uh, Mighty Mouse Zukowska uh, to me reminds me of Mighty Mouse when she. Runs in there, just uh, all sorts of energy <laughs> and, and just. She just, takes a little warm up sprint yeah. before the game starts. I'm like, whoa, just, where are you going? But I yes, love exactly. This kid. I, I know. Love this kid. And she's, I, I, yeah, so talk about what that really. I mean, I see it. It makes me smile up in, up in the in the U.S. Bank broadcast booth. But what does that really do for a team when you have somebody like that with that sort of positive energy? Yes, she's feisty and. Yeah, it's positive, always smiling, and I keep talking about her puzzle pieces a little bit, what they put together, and that's exactly what she said she'd bring, no matter what. Um, smiling and positivity, and she does that. So um, she, she makes me feel good when things get tight, and I can look out and see, okay, Z's okay, I'm okay, you know, that kind of thing. So um, pass the smiles around, and that helps everything most of the time. It, and I've had this conversation with more than, than one person in the last few days. I mean, your volleyball team's getting talked about. Uh, it's creating excitement on campus. Uh, you know, you see the student body is fired mm -hmm. up for you. Uh, the girls, this group of girls, appear to be having a lot of fun. Uh, how important, you know, the, the old cliche of chemistry and that, but how important is just enjoying playing together as a team? You know, there's so many things that we can't control. But what we can is our attitude and effort. And I don't just mean volleyball, but the things, that, how we put out, put that chemistry and that vibe towards our teammates. And, um, you know, there's more important things in life than volleyball. So why not just enjoy that? You know, when you get in, in here, it's it should be about the enjoyment of the sport and just playing. And anything else outside the doors, outside the gym, you know, I had a bad test. Okay, boom, let's go take care of that, take care of that on a volleyball, right? So... <laughs> Hopefully, um, you know, we can continue to, to be that uh, for these girls. And, you know, some of these girls have been together for three years. They get that first year, and uh, have I figured out that sophomore? Have I figured out the my other freshman class? And, you know, these girls, they know each other. They know what irks the other. You know, most of them lived together last year, and that the returning sophomores or third-year sophomores. So they've got each other figured out, and that's cool. That's They've got a good chemistry and friendship and sense of, family so um and i'm i'm hoping that they are will leave that with with everybody else when their time is done here we're not going to see you again at the hellier center until the 14th of september when it's the ravers coming to town between now and then you're going to get road tested a little bit uh, and that's that's good you're yes gonna, these girls are going to get to know each other even a little bit more yep. as they spend some time on on the road when we look at that schedule i think hutchison is in there uh, who's in there that you think can really challenge you? Obviously, Hutch, we know Hutch can. And, right, and then Western Nebraska. Sure. Well, we talked a little bit about them, I think, in the coaches' show last night. Maybe that they're not tall, uh, but they're ball control kids. They're, I think they got a couple girls from Hawaii, and they're always – they've got that – like Mellow last year, they've got that soft touch and really just know where to put, put the ball on the court. So a um, handful of those um, kids playing volleyball that way. And then Hutch again, which – you know, they've had time together now, too, so they probably put together the pieces that we're missing and a few points here and there since we played. So 
will be tested before we're back here. And we're going to need that, though, because right. Iowa Western is going to bring that test, too. Yeah, they're two and six, but I would expect the Reavers to be they, ready to go yes. when they get here on the 14th. Exactly, so. exactly. All right, Coach, congrats on the win tonight. Three over uh, over Carl Sandberg. A time of match one hour, five minutes long, and the Warriors move to 10 and one on the season. That's going to do it for us for now. Uh, big thanks to everybody uh, on the broadcast tonight, Sydney Anderson, Titus Lettering, Camille Hendricks. I'm Russ W. Oker uh, saying so long, everybody.